we do have the page of swords in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse somebody is giving us the cold shoulder no communication more stalking than communicating and we might be about to let go of someone we might be a little bit angry the strength in reverse uh, right we are not on our best behavior we have nasty thoughts can be a Leo at a distance but I kind of feel the frustration because we are not talking and yet there is so much to be said there is so much clarity to be brought strength in reverse and the four of wands in reverse might be uh, a marriage that went um, south <laughs> and um, yeah because of communication strength in reverse a lot of anger for go was going on and the six of swords in reverse we kind of the universe saying we keep staying in tormented waters because we are angry with someone um strength in reverse is it has a bit of a revenge in some sort um, it has a, a sense of i'm not going to be on my best behavior you're gonna pay for this kind of and we had the six of uh, swords in reverse and now we have it upright six of swords upright so emotional detachment we need to walk away um we need peace of mind we need to work towards six of swords four of cups this is gone right this is gone let's put your mind at uh, at ease this is just gone for now so let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time the most important one and we say the last week of november but we know time is fluid and you always have your better judgment so um virgo bottom of the deck the overall energy at this time, we do have the Three of Wands, we do have the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Wands, and yourself. We have no time, right, for disappointment, cheating, lying, and deceiving human beings. We do have the Three of Wands in reverse. We know it's all about expectations. It's all about uh, patiently waiting for ships to come home. But by the combination of cards, it's like no time for bullshit. We do have the Seven of Swords in reverse, right? We know that was disappointment, uh, behavior that we cannot allow. And we do have the Eight of Wands, the energy of traveling, of walking away, of success and moving forward, of focusing on projects. And we have you strong and moving on. We do have the Hermit. We do have the wisdom that comes with it and the dedication to make it happen no time for nonsense i love this three of one seven of swords they was kind of reminding you you know we had the um the strength in rivers a, a little bit of disappointment but also anger and frustration lashing out and actually the key is in the eight of wands it was not a failure it was an opportunity to learn and it was an opportunity to grow and develop something new from it so past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with and mutual, I know. Bottom of the deck, the moon in reverse, secrets coming out. And probably they came, I kind of feel that, you know, that's how we got impatient and a little bit frustrated and angry, angry with the disappointment. You know, people having no, um, you know, kind of um, tenure of some sort, you know, and morals and however you call them. Um, so in the past, Virgo, what do we have? We do have the five of wands in reverse and the six of wands. Um, and it is conflict and shame, right? And uh, disappointment. It has the energy of um, internal conflict. Want, not your energy, but boy, I feel that they kept you on your toes, right? And we, you struggled with them at the end. You struggled with yourself. It has a sense of, and we know how dutiful a Virgo can be, right? So I kind of feel with the Six of Wands in reverse, it's this energy of I don't want to be blamed for. It has this energy, you know, I don't want to be held responsible for. I don't want to, you know, it's a sense of people are watching. That's a, the Six of Wands. People are watching and I have to be on my best day, on my best light. And, and um, 
but we struggled we struggled definitely not something we were expecting and it hit every single angle right big connection and also your inner peace um now this person of yours um virgo um they do have the page of cups and the nine of pentacles in reverse definitely childish definitely emotional um touch them in such a way but nine of pentacles it has the energy of wanting to be committed to you you know uh there was no way they were independent maybe you were taking care of this person you know nine of pentacles in reverse is the energy of not having enough resources and um and being emotionally unstable because of it you know and uh, maybe that's what uh, drove you crazy in some way um, and very conflicted and not having expectation, like like losing hope. Uh, Virgo, it has this energy of losing hope that they can accomplish something, be autonomous, be uh, their own mature person. Um, being a kid, being a kid in some way, and probably that's what attracted uh, you to them in the first place, right? Um, your sense of duty, your sense of responsibility, your sense of, um, you know, loving and adoring kids and, and feeling responsible for them. Probably that's a little bit what, um, and for some of you, you had kids with this person, but nonetheless, they were not the type of independent person that you expected or wanted them. So, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Wands upright. Um, definitely financial instability between the two of you, and also a lot of burdens and responsibility for both of you. Um, probably one was financially unstable and the other one was uh, carrying the load. Um, and it's the energy of ending, actually. It ended because of it, but I kind of feel that it took a long time to make peace with the idea of I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm out, right? Um, and you had to grow in that energy I'm picking up. You had to grow into the person not having any type of expectation. And at some point you had to reach the Ten of Wands, like I'm done, it's way too heavy of a burden to keep going. And it might create financial instability, but at some point we, you know. And I'm sensing people are watching and you had to get over the sense of shame and saying, well, you know, it's done, we're out. Um, so where are we right now? Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Justice in reverse. So we are rebuilding a sense of financial stability. We are taking our power back when it comes to money. Um, for some of you, a sense of rejection, a sense of loss, a sense of sadness. And we are all rebuilding this step by step. And a sense of unfairness. We do have the justice in reverse. It's so unfair. It's out of balance. But we are building the world. It's beautiful when we have the energies because we know what we aim, what we stand for. And we know what we are manifesting, right? Even if we have a sense of this, I was not deserving this. This was not something that was meant to happen to me, you know. Um, but we are on the right path, on the right track with the justice, right? We know we know everything will balance um, itself out. And the universe is right there for this. Now this person of yours, Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords, they are hurt, but they are awakening. Um, and again, this energy of pages, um, it has the, it's the genius card, right? So it's kind of like they went from, you know, um, unstable to hurt and uh, awakening to do something about. This is the energy of thought. This is the energy of ideas. This is the energy of the clarity of the mind. Um, this is the energy of trying to understand pain at this moment, trying to understand hurt, how to protect themselves. Um, Nine of Wands is the energy of being under attack and already weakened by what happened. But, um, you know, trying to be smart about. they It's a shift in energies, right? We started with cups, um, emotionally overwhelmed, and we have them in, in a sense of, oh boy, I need to do something about it. That's exactly the the thing here and um it's uh it's planning it's the beginning of a plan uh because it hurts too much um nine of wands and because they need to protect themselves um mutual energies between the two of you virgo we do have the nine of swords in reverse and the wheel of fortune uh, i love the wheel of fortune at the uh, core of the reading of course it is in reverse so kind of like the universe stating that you are both stuck on what happened 
uh, still reminiscent. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is the, the flow of energies between the two of you or independently. It's not uh, proper, right? So we go into all those moments where we had fights. It felt like a burden, moments of shame, moments of feeling responsible, moments of internal struggle and lack of balance. We visit, we visit and revisit this and we stress about it. Thank God the Nine of Swords is in reverse. So we have uh, moments of clarity, right? We have moments of, um, you know, of um, I'm overusing my mind, so it's time to slow down and it's time to refocus, change my focus on something else. Um, like your own balance, your own um, decisions, your own fairness, your own decisions. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse. How about we um, address the bigger issue here, the one of instability? The one where we need to go back to the abundant energies with. We had the one of I have projects, right? The one with I'm, I see the wisdom in it and I'm willing to move on. Eight of Wands with the Hermit. I'm willing to be passionate. You know, it's like opening the door uh, wide to get the, uh, the passion in again. Um, so Virgo, the outcome of this, we do have the Two of Swords in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I feel this is more about a decision to let go, a decision to disconnect emotionally, a decision for some of you dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a decision to simply, um, you know, what that concerned them at the distance can be any type of decision, but I, um, I kind of feel that the main energy here is we disconnect emotionally and we deal with a couple of things that this uh, relationship created. Um, I'm not seeing reconciliation so far. And guess what? This person, they do have the Eight of Cups um, in reverse and the Fool in, uh, Eight of Cups, sorry, upright and the Fool in reverse. Um, it is an emotional withdrawal, but, um, you know, it's kind of... Um, um, one step forward, two steps back, because uh, the full in reverse is the energy of resisting new beginnings. Uh, but nonetheless, doing the work, right, to be a little bit more emotionally stable, to hear, um, you know, the energies of the universe, to welcome the energies of the universe. Eight of Cups, it is the what's next for me. Um, it is the energy of walking towards the, the wish fulfillment and the blissful life. Um, nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, right? So they are on a journey. They are on a journey with moments of, you know, foolish moments, the moment moments of resistance, moments of looking at the future and seeing a new beginning, seeing an opportunity, a possibility, wanting to take risks, um, and um, and not doing it. But then, um, and but then they do with the Eight of Cups, right? So on a journey on a journey just like you just like you mutual energies between the two of you we do have the five of cups and the devil in reverse capricorn energy i feel virgo that this is this is a blessing i mean the devil in reverse it kind of tells me that it was toxic and the outcome of this is detachment from whatever was toxic Whatever was emotionally overwhelming, whatever was um, rejection with the Five of Pentacles and also guilt, regret and responsibilities, right? It has a sense of blame game, uh, Virgo, this connection. I don't know who threw around, who's guilty of what. Um, but it has this energy of you hurt me, right? With the Nine of Wands on their side and with the Justice in reverse. Yeah, but what you did, it was unfair. Right, and undeserved, I felt rejected, abandoned, uh, went through financial struggle. I had to fight for money by myself. That's the energy here. So we are throwing blame over here, but the outcome is just beautiful. A decision to disconnect on both sides and deal with the toxic energies that you guys had. Um, and, um, and a sense of no time for nonsense, you know? Uh, three of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Swords. It's like don't don't BS me, you know. I'm um you know I don't expect you you to be different, you know. So I know your game or something like that. I love the Hermit with the Eight of Wands as the overall energy, and it's exactly in line with the with the whole energy, right? We are less stressed. We we allow the universe to to do its work to bring the energies in. 
and eight of wands it's just being passionate about the future so let's see what um right let's ask for some guidance the question is always the same should we say yay should we say nay so we do have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and we do we did have a lot of rejection a lot of anger actually and frustration through shuffling so that's okay let's explore that and understand we do have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so your feelings are real and worth exploring for some of you actually um, Virgo, I kind of feel that you are guided to really sit down with yourself and try to understand what you are going through. It's a mix of energies of financial insecurities, unfairness, injustice, a sense of you didn't get your fair share. It has a sense of uh, sadness and isolation with the cups in reverse. So it's a, it's a cleanup, kind of the way I'm sensing the way the universe is putting all together this reading, right? We need a little bit of a cleanup and that's okay worth waiting for you know divine timing that is a divine timing on it you do have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon again another statement and past life relationship you have known each other before you do have bottom of the deck engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment it doesn't make sense right we have separation uh, probably you had an engagement. It's a way of saying, uh, you know, you've been uh, about to get married to this person. We had romantic feelings. We had a past life connection. But now we are separated and that is a cleanup of emotions. Something that we absolutely need to understand and, uh, and deal with when it comes to this commitment. And right now we are absolutely in separation mode here. Oh, okay. I'm going to look into the energies we need to put back into the flow. We do have guilt. The whole reading is about guilt and responsibility. So, um, Virgo, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. We let go of guilt. We allow the whole process with love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. We let go of envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So we do not judge them. We we do not judge ourselves we just allow and move on we do have balance i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment bottom of the deck surrender to spirit once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal for go turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you we need balance we have justice in reverse right now so we know it has to be the main focus at this time and we need to do it with love guilt free right you did nothing wrong it's just you know together um we had a a bit of a journey and we had a bit of a lesson uh that we needed to uh put into the toolbox now let's um see with the uh, true love and whispers of love so we do have the rainbow reviver we need to bring the fun back for go we need to have fun we need to take things easy we kind of forgot to we do have reparenting yourself we have love and reparenting yourself somebody here virgo needs to be the parent they never had we need to learn something we need to educate ourselves about something we need to nurture the inner child inside of you this is all about self-care and healing from with a with a mature um, knowledge and uh, speaking of mature and we get maturity reparenting and maturity now we know better and when we know better we do better and we take care of the kid inside of us asking us things making us or pushing us making mistakes make mistakes so i kind of feel that that is a beautiful beautiful um piece of advice here Bring some fun back, take care of your inner child and, um, you know, maturity is the energy of taking responsibility and understanding the lesson in it. So, so Virgo, act as if your partner is here, whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you'll always consider them. Bottom of the deck, love endures. 
Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Um, so Virgo, if this person gave up on you, okay, kind of like the universe is reminding you, you know what, if they gave up on you right away, if they cheated and lied and betrayed and were uh, fighting you every step of the way, right, usually love is kind. So in the process, you are really guided to take care of yourself. Probably that was one of with the devil and the ten of wands, one of those abusive relationships I might be picking up. Uh, where people stubbornly stay together and kind of, you know, destroy each other. Um, and um, and now it's kind of Virgo the Universe saying, put the pieces back together. It's a separation. Yes, it was love. Yes, it was commitment, romantic feelings. But now it's more than, you know, now we need to pick up the pieces here and be, be passionate about the future. The Hermit and the Eight of Wands. This is all your energy. Um, so, hey, Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come to me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.